Only one Marvel hero has both the ability to kick ass and annoy all at the same time. And that's Deadpool, aka Wade Wilson. I mean, his level of annoyance is so intense it actually gives him an advantage in a fight with some of the most powerful Marvel heroes. Deadpool is kind of like the Billy Madison of Marvel. But being a jokester isn't Deadpool's only skill. His pool of powers have allowed him to defeat some of the strongest heroes in the Marvel Universe. Today, I'm going to focus on 15 particularly powerful heroes he's defeated and break those fights down. Break it down! So heat up a chimichanga, sit back, relax, and let's dive in, shall we? Prepare for dive! First up, we have Spider-Man. Yep, Deadpool damn done shot him right in the head. Now you may be asking yourself, Why, 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 why? Well, being that Deadpool was going through that awkward, off everyone while being brainwashed phase of his life. Bad Deadpool. A pretty ticked off Spider-Man was able to stop him, but only for a moment. Instead of finishing him off, Spider-Man grabbed his suit and tried to talk sense into this way too far gone Deadpool. I mean, we're talking this far gone. I'm ready to go in, coach. Just give me a chance. In Spidey's last effort to bring him back, Deadpool responds in typical Wade Wilson fashion. A sarcastic remark followed by a bullet to the head. I know Deadpool and Spider-Man have always had a love-hate relationship, but damn. Now, why didn't Spider-Man's Spidey senses kick in at any point during all that time Deadpool was taking out his gun and shoving it under Spidey's chin? I... whatever. But that's how Deadpool whacks Spider-Man. Next up is Mr. Immortal, aka Craig Hollis. If you guess that Mr. Immortal's superpower is being immortal, You are correct, sir, yes! He has claimed he will live until the end of the universe and identifies himself as a Homo Supreme. Being that his powers are fairly similar to Deadpool's, you'd think Mr. Immortal would be a worthy foe for Wade. But turns out, he's been offed by Deadpool three times. One time, Wade sliced his head clear off, then another time he flat out shot the guy, then my personal favorite, the time Deadpool detonated a bandolier of grenades Craig was holding. Mr. Immortal is kind of like the Daffy Duck of the Marvel Universe. And that's how Deadpool took the M away from Mr. Immortal. Okay, this one is pretty funny, and really illustrates why Deadpool is Deadpool. In a fight between him and Daredevil, Wade was extra annoying. Wanna hear the most annoying sound in the world? So much to the point where it was actually interfering with Daredevil's senses. They've got a good fight going, and Daredevil seems to be getting the best of it. When out of nowhere, Deadpool is running with a baby wrapped in cloth. Deadpool trips, sending the baby flying off the rooftop, causing Daredevil to leap after it, clutching it in his arms and landing hard right into a dumpster. When Daredevil unwraps the cloth, the baby is revealed to be a little Deadpool doll. Wade then pops up behind Daredevil with a gun against his head saying, Guess who wins? And that's how Deadpool smoked Daredevil. Another plan involving a decoy came about when the Punisher, aka Frank Castle, tracked down the rampaging Deadpool to do away with him for good. Castle got him clear in his sights, then shot him in the head with a sniper rifle. Frank approached the body to get a good look at Deadpool's face, so that when he heals, Castle can look right into his eyes as he finishes him off once again. Well, that's what we call overkill. To Frank's surprise, he discovers that the person he shot is actually the Puppet Master. No, no, not that Puppet Master. This Puppet Master. The real Deadpool pops up, and not long after delivering a smart-ass remark whilst playing with a little Punisher doll, he sticks his pistol against Frank's head and... Now, much like the Spider-Man scenario, there ain't no way Frank would have just sat there doing nothing while Wade played with a doll, made sarcastic remarks, then stuck a gun at his head. I... whatever. But that's how Deadpool wasted the Punisher. Deadpool. Next in line is Captain America. Ah, but not the real Cap. An evil clone created by the sinister Dr. Bong. Now, even though this isn't the real Steve Rogers, he is a fully identical clone possessing all of the powers and skills of the real Steve Rogers. 
so technically it's as if Deadpool is fighting the real Steve Rogers, even though it's actually a clone of Steve Rogers. Got it? The fight went the distance, along with a classic Wade quip per hit, but was broken up as Deadpool was on top. Later on, with a little help from the real Steve Rogers, he finished the clone Cap with a rifle shot to the head. Remember, he didn't kill the real Captain America, just his evil clone. And that's how Deadpool iced Dr. Bong's Captain America clone. In another Deadpool kills the Marvel Universe whacking, he manages to slay yet another favorite, Dr. Stephen Strange. This one we actually never get to see in action, but are only left with Strange's body laid out in a ritualistic manner in his room with a dagger in his chest. He even hit poor Wong. I'd like to think this hit job wasn't shown because, well, I mean, how would Deadpool actually pull this off? Unless he was able to sneak in and get the good doctor during his most vulnerable state, I just can't see how he managed to get him from the front with a dagger nonetheless. I... whatever. I'd be curious to know what your theories are for this. But anywho, that's how Deadpool took out Doctor Strange. Here's an interesting one. Ever heard of Watu the Watcher? I have no idea what you're talking about. He's just another one of those celestial beings who observes and records our planetary affairs, but is not allowed to intervene. But not this cat. He plays by his own rules and has intervened a bunch of times. I'm a loner, daddy. A rebel. But just because he resides in space doesn't mean he's out of Deadpool's reach. He's able to somehow catch Watu off guard as he stood over the dead body of Sue Storm, then hit him with an ancient artifact known as the God Taser. Deadpool wastes no time and slices Watu's head clean off. And that's how Deadpool scragged Watu the Watcher. Now you may be wondering where Deadpool got this God Taser. Why, from Mr. Fantastic's lab, of course. This leads us to our next group of heroes Deadpool did away with. The Fantastic Four. This fight picks up about midway through, as the thing has already been reduced to a pile of rubble. Mr. Fantastic is lying in a pool of his own stretched out skin. Ew. And Deadpool is holding Johnny Storm's head by his hair while slitting his throat. How he managed to do all of this? I... whatever. This just leaves Sue Storm, who uses her powers to make Deadpool's head explode. Now you'd think that that would be the end of Deadpool. But no! His regenerative powers are so strong, his freaking head grows back, and he juts his sword through Sue's back. How was he able to do all of that? I... whatever. But that's how Deadpool wiped out the Fantastic Four. Deadpool. Then there's Shatterstar. Remember him? My name's Rusty, but I go by Shatterstar. So how does that uh, help us? I'm basically better than you at everything. Deadpool defeated Shatterstar in the X-Men Millennial Vision comic. But in an alternate reality, he mercilessly took out Shatterstar, along with all of the X-Men. This was during that troubling phase we talked about earlier. As a reminder to Deadpool of what he did, he carried Shatterstar's swords with him at all times, and regularly used them in combat. Oh yeah, here was another way Shatterstar bit the dust. It's a damn shame we lost Shatterstar. I don't think anyone's gonna miss Shatterstar. He was a bit of a prick. And that's how Deadpool bumped off Shatterstar. Now, here comes the Hulk. Deadpool and Hulk have gone at it quite a few times, actually. But Deadpool managed to get two wins against the Hulk, one cannon and the other not. The non-canon defeat came during Deadpool's crazed rampage against the Marvel Universe. First, he was ripped apart by the Hulk, but we all know how that goes. Christ. Once he got his legs back, Wade snuck up on a sleeping Bruce Banner and did what Wade does best. In canon, Deadpool challenged the Hulk to a fight in order to get some of his blood, hoping that it would counteract the gamma radiation that was affecting him. During the fight, the Hulk jumped up to come down and smash Wade, but as Hulk was in the air, Wade set a nice pointy trap for the big green guy. And well, let's just say he had an epic superhero landing. And that's how Deadpool knocked off the Hulk. Deadpool. 
Now we get to Thor. I'm Thor. You're Thor? Well, it hurts. This is yet another non-canon defeat, but technically could work as a way to smite the mighty Thor. Wade actually managed to spark some pim particles on Thor's hammer, Mjolnir, so that as it flew towards Thor upon his command, the hammer grew so large that it crushed Thor to his demise. I've gotta admit, that's pretty darn clever, and probably the only way Deadpool has a chance at beating Thor. And the little boop on the nose he gives Thor at the end is just... And that's how Deadpool slain thy god of thunder. Now we get to a guy who Deadpool has scrapped with a bunch of times and is one of his greatest opponents, Wolverine, aka Logan. The fact that both of these dudes have healing powers and polar opposite personalities puts their fights at pay-per-view status. I can't think of a more entertaining fight and anyone who would be more annoyed by Deadpool than Wolverine. Wade would piss Logan off to the point of... Deadpool has actually beaten Wolverine on three occasions. One particular time was after Logan's healing factor was extremely weakened by Magneto ripping the adamantium out of his body. That fight ended with jokes and a sword through the heart and lungs. Another time in that non-canonical storyline where Deadpool goes after everyone, he possesses a sword made from carbonadium, which disrupts the healing factor once it's been driven through the body, which he uses on Wolverine. Of all fights, these two we need to see in live action. No, this doesn't count. Hey, it's me. Don't scratch. Anyway, that's how Deadpool rubbed out Wolverine. Now, this one is a bonus character, not in the Marvel Universe, but featured in the Deadpool Kills Deadpool comic, clearly implied to be the character Wade Wilson has been mocking since his creation. And that's DC's Deathstroke, aka Slade Wilson. Now, the comic doesn't specifically name the character, as that would cause some serious legal trouble for Marvel. But it is essentially Deathstroke, just with a Deadpool color scheme. There isn't much of a fight either. They pop up in the background during a montage where Deadpool is shown slicing him down with one stroke. You could say, a death stroke. But hey, it's a fun little easter egg and makes you wonder how a Deadpool death stroke battle would go. But that's how Deadpool cut down the death stroke knockoff. And now it's time for some trivia. Deadpool is a Scorpio. He hates the band Creed. He has seen every Jackie Chan movie and every high karate commercial ever made. He hates anime. He is a big fan of the original Star Wars trilogy, but hates the prequels with a burning passion. Can't imagine he's a fan of the sequels either. In fact, when an AIM agent expressed his love for the prequels, Deadpool shot him and forced the other AIM agent to say that Jar Jar Binks is an abomination. I mean, haven't we all? And this has been Deadpool Trivia. And there you have it. 15 heroes Deadpool has defeated. Aside from other heroes Deadpool has beaten, which ones do you think he could beat and how? Let us know in the comments, then like and subscribe. Buh bye bye